Hello everybody, I am going to do a quick Dollar Tree haul. It is uh, Monday, November 13th. It's Veterans Day. <laughs> so um, yeah, I did a um, just a quick run to uh, Dollar Tree. And so I thought I'd jump on here and uh, show you guys before it gets too dark. But um, anyway, I have a plan for this. <clears throat> Um, I'm uh, currently working on a DIY. Um, unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to show you when I'm done with it, um, what it is. But, I mean, it's really cute. You guys, I'm going to figure it out because there's so many DIYs I want to show you guys. But anyway, I'm going to end up cutting this up. And so it was just a dollar at Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut it up for the material. Um, I'm going to use it for something else. Then I got this pick. I thought this pick was pretty neat. Um, has a little cotton. You know, it's fake. But um, anyway, I thought it was cute. Of course, I use it to cut the pieces off to make something else. So it's another DIY that I am working on. And I'm actually going to try. That's probably going to be my first time that I try to do a DIY. Now, I am able to... I've moved some things around. I still got to clear my table because I want to do a Christmas tablescape. But... Um, I'm actually have I actually have room to be able to like work with and show you things like as I do it like I figure if I tilt the the uh, iPad the camera will be able to show you know um, what I'm I'm doing so anyway yeah so this morning I got up and I made my first I usually try to on the weekend make one or two um, you, usually in the beginning of November I do it, but because uh, my mom's passing on November 4th, I haven't been able to do it. But this morning I got up and did it. I made, uh, usually I try to make breads, like pumpkin bread, banana bread. Um, when I get my hands on some persimmon bread, sometimes people we know will give us like a bunch of persimmons and I'd put some aside to make persimmon bread. Um, so this morning I made a pumpkin spice bread. Um, and <clears throat> next one, excuse me, next one I'm going to do, I'm going to make pumpkin bread with, um, with uh, what do you call it, pomegranate um, berries in it. Not pomegranate seeds, but the berries. Um, so just to change it up. And then I'm going to do some pumpkin uh, banana breads with walnuts in it. So anyway, went to Dollar Tree. They had this, um, the infused pomegranate are infused with pomegranate juice. Um, so I guess these are cranberries infused with the juice. Um, that's, yeah, it's dried cranberries. So I thought it was pomegranates, but that doesn't make sense because pomegranates have a little hard seed in it. But anyway, I'll be putting some of those in that. And then I saw another girl do a DIY on making a pillow with the table mats. And I really, really like the Noel mat. Um, I was going to do it last year, but I didn't like the ones they had, and I, I saw the DIY like later on um, in the season, and they were all out of the nice mats. So anyway, I saw this Noelle mat. I thought it was so cute, and she did a nice little throw pillow. So I got two, and she didn't use the sewing machine at all. She just glued it around the edges and took an old pill pillow, and took the stuffing out, and put it in there. So I thought that was really neat. So yes, I'm going to be doing that DIY. And also, something new. i never seen these. Again, I make my breads every year. And Dollar Tree, they usually have the chargers. And this year, I I've never seen these, but they have these chargers. Now, these would be nice for me to cut my bread and lay it on here. Um, you know, take it over to my mom's house for um, Thanksgiving. Yeah, we're still going to do Thanksgiving um, at my mom's house. We're going to, you know, potluck it over there and do Thanksgiving. So I bought two of those, and these are really nice, you guys, really nice and heavy. I noticed in the past couple of years I've been buying uh, trays that have the designs on it or whatever, and they're pretty thin, and they seem to not last. This, this, however, is going to last. You know, you could use this for many things. You can use this for, you know, you put like a napkin down, you put your bread on it, or you can use it for a centerpiece if you want to put your candles in the center of your table. Um, you can sit them in here. You can do other little centerpieces in here. But, I mean, you can do a lot of stuff with this. Make cookies, put them on there. Um, you know, if you have, like, a cookie party. Um, I've been to a couple of cookie parties. Those are fun. Um, you know, I don't do that anymore because I don't want to partake in any cookie eating nothing. So... <laughs> No more cookie parties for me. And um, I 
also I got the cinnamon sticks. These are the large ones, and they smell so good. You can smell them right there. Oh, they smell so good. Um, you could use these for um, just little air fresheners, you know, boil them in water for, the, you know, air freshener in your house. Um, you know, you can use them for crafts. You can use them for cooking, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I have one of the little things you can grate it on to make fresh uh, ground cinnamon. Um, but they're cinnamon sticks, and they're very nice to have around. Even if you don't use them, it's just good to have them just to freshen up the house. I just, I love the smell of cinnamon. <clears throat> and just bought some of these to snack on. I might end up just taking them into work. I usually don't uh, eat these because they're high in um, carbs. But, I'm, you know, if you portion it out or whatever and keep the carbs low, um, I do take in a certain amount of carbs a day. I try to stick to about 30. But, um... Not if I can't, I can't eat that whole thing because that whole thing would be like 30 something carbs. So I have to ration. It's a nice size bag. It's not well, it's not like one of those little tiny bags. It's a nice size bag. And give me a Ziploc and put some of those in there. I get this for my coffee and my, um, just well, just for coffee. That's all I do with it. Um, but anyway, yeah, it sweetens up my coffee in the morning. I used a little, um, you know, the little packages that you buy in the little box and you open it up. I, I use like two of them and have black coffee in the morning since I don't, um, I intermittent and fast um, until noon. So in the morning, I'll allow myself to have two of these with a cup of black coffee. <clears throat> also, this is the time to buy your seasonings. They have tons of seasonings at um, Dollar Tree. So I bought some cayenne pepper and I bought some parsley flakes. And I go through this stuff so quick. I like to season up a lot of, you know, my stuff a lot. So I um, just got through running out of time because I'm baking chicken right now and I used all that up. And I went to another Dollar Tree earlier and picked up another pick. This pick is different. It doesn't have a glitter on it. I might end up just using these little berries on another, well, it's the same DIY I was telling you about that I was going to use a stocking on, but I might pick these uh, little berries off and individually like glue them on what I did, but I'll show you guys that. I might end up doing some of that DIY on here and then just show you guys what the end result is, but show you the process of putting, you know, the pieces on there. I'll have to show you guys what I'm doing, but anyway, so I picked those up. This I thought was really cute. These are, um, this is a ribbon and it has like the truck on it and it says Merry Christmas and I just thought that was really cute. Um, I don't know, these trucks are so, so popular, trucks and trailers and, and um, what do you call it, Buffalo Check, all, all this trendy stuff within the past maybe three, four years. It's just like, wow, you know, and I really, really do like the Buffalo Red and Black Buffalo Check uh, things. Another DIY I'm working on. You guys, I work on DIYs because they kind of help to take off the sadness from missing my mom. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll miss my mom forever, you know, but um, it helps me. It's therapeutic, I guess I can say, to be able to um, craft. So for the repast that we're having for my mom, we... Um, I showed you guys a picture of her in pink with pink flowers and then she's in a heart that's in the center of the picture. Well, my mom's favorite color was blue. And so I went <clears throat> and printed, I made a blue one, but it's roses all around it and she's in a heart inside the roses. And I did light blue and dark blue. And so what we're going to do is at the repast, my um, sister and my niece went to downtown LA and bought tablecloths. It's going to be at the, her church. And um, bought tablecloths for the tables, and I think in the center of the tables we will have um, picture, of, you know, the picture of her. Like one of the pictures is going to be sideways, so you know, of course, it sits sideways, and it's the heart with her picture in it, with the blue roses around it, and then one is going to sit up like this, and um, you know, because the other one is upright. And the only thing I don't like is that the heart kind of runs off the side of the picture you know the way I did I did it on my phone and so when you print it 
at Walgreens, it doesn't fit in a four by six. These are four by sixes and it doesn't fit in there. So it kind of cuts off the heart, but that's okay. It's still going to look nice. I'll make it work. And, um, so we'll have those on the table and I'm thinking about doing like a centerpiece. I'm trying not to use so much, uh, you know, spend so much money, you know, um, but yeah, I want to, um, you know, have the pictures and then maybe like, um, I don't know, maybe like a, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I mean, it's awake. You don't want to do too much. I mean, I've never even heard of this being done at awake. It's just my idea came across my mind. Um, and then the last thing I have in here is, uh, just solid red with glitter on it, um, uh, ribbon. So, um, this is going to be yet for another <laughs> DIY. <laughs> I know you guys, I'm just trying to stay busy and keep my mind off things. <clears throat> but anyway, I think that's it. And by the way, I bought 10 of these. So we're going to have probably five tables that have both pictures on it. Um, you know, because it's going to be long tables, so we'll have the pictures like that of her. And then they're going to ultimately go to um, immediate family and close friends. So, anyway. But you know what? Right now, um, Walgreens, they're having a sale 40% off, and their 4 by 6s are $0.39. Cents. So, I ended up paying $3 and something, something odd cents for 16 photos. Um, so, I think I am going to go back sometime this week. Because, you know, I take so many pictures in my cell phone. And um, my cell phone is so full that I can't do videos on them. And some of the, you know, pictures that I take, I want to save them. And I don't know. I guess I'm old-fashioned. I like to print my photos out. I don't like to just save them on the phone. Then you get a new phone and you lose them all. No, I like to print my stuff out. So, anyway, yeah, um, that's the end of the haul, you guys. It wasn't very, uh, it wasn't a very big haul. You know what I did do, you guys, today? I was so happy, you know, I was just like, oh, you know, I spent so much money, and, you know, I don't have anything to wear to the funeral, and so I go to Ross today, and my eyes just, I came around the corner to where my size was, and my eyes connected with this dress that was so pretty. I was like, oh, this is nice, you know, and, you know, Ross is, prices have gone up on the dress on everything really and so I said well I don't want I, you know I don't have too much money to spend and you know I mean for payday and you know in between paydays <laughs> and lo and behold you guys I looked on that tag and it said $7.99 I don't know why they have it marked at $7.99 it's a, new, it's a nice dress and it's it's all black and then it has like the sheer um like pink gray like a pale 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 um pinkish gray flowers on the sleeves and it's kind of sheer on the sleeve. It's really pretty. Um, and tried it on and it fit perfect. I was just like, wow, what are the chances this happens, you know? So now I just need to get pantyhose and, um, and, uh, I have shoes, but I want to probably look for some flats cause I know I'm going to be on my feet all day. So, um, if I can just find some nice little black flats and so then I'll be ready. So anyway, you guys, I'm going to get off this uh, um, video. I'm making some collard greens and some chicken, um, and everything's on the stove right now. I'm going to go check that and just chill for the rest of the afternoon. I was going to wash my hair, but I think I'm going to do that later on. I just, I don't know. I just, I, I'm going to try to make an appointment for next Saturday to see if my uh, beautician can do it, but um, yeah. Um, that's it, you guys. <laughs> I'm tired, too. Anyway, so thank you for joining me, you guys. I appreciate it. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, a comment, and subscribe to my channel, girl and boy. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye.